last time so I'm gonna be driving my car for this month now why am I saying that well we got a few repairs that we're gonna be coming up which is uh, the clutch we're gonna do some with the drive shaft and finally we're gonna do something with the differential which means we're going full drift mode with this baby let's go now I hope you guys are excited just as much as I am because man I I've been waiting to do this since I bought my car and I haven't been able to because you know I've been waiting and waiting and waiting until I could get a nice daily so I can mess with this car and my girlfriend luckily was able to get her own car and she said that I could use it whenever this one's down so Operation Drift E39 is a go. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. We're gonna make a few videos of that. Uh, first, we're gonna be starting off with the drive shaft, getting off that thing and and uh, figuring out what to do with that because I got myself a poly flex plate. Wait, hold on. sound effect doesn't it Jesus <laughs> it literally just sounds like that fart sound effect <laughs> anyways I got a poly flex plate or flex disc which goes from my tranny onto my uh, drive shaft that's gonna make shifting a lot more stiffer because if you watch me shift you'll see that the car kind of shakes and when I do shift it's not super smooth so hopefully when I get that done it will be fixed and the sloppy shifts will go away plus with the clutch of course also where am I going <laughs> I'm going the wrong way oh well Why would I need to 
spend $4,600 all in one go if I could easily just spend it little by little parts, little by little over time. What the heck, there's sand flying everywhere. It's hitting my windshield. Oh, what the fuck? There's not even a, a goddamn dump truck up there. <laughs> Anyways, I already forgot what I was trying to say. But yeah, I, uh, I'm able to get the turbo for a little bit cheaper than the kit does. So for everything, I could probably get it for around $3,000 and spend little by little over the next six months accumulating all the parts and um, not needing to just drop $4,600 in one go. So in my opinion, it's a lot better. And plus, who knows, there might be a nice Black Friday deals or something like that for the CX Racing Turbo Kit. That's very much possible and I could save a few hundred bucks from that. So that's kind of what my thinking is right now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are super excited for that because um, I sure as hell am because I'm done sick and tired of this 200 horsepower bullshit. We're going to go straight to 350 and uh, hopefully she will hold like that because we're going for a little bit more horsepower and less torque right now uh, considering that the compression ratio is a bit high stock but don't worry I'm gonna lower it stock this got a 10.1 to 1 and we're gonna get it down to an 8.5 to 1 using an MLS plus a spacer it's very important to hold boost because if that goes over the ratio of a 12.1 well you're close to detonation right there and that's a big no-no so currently with this setup what I have is the headers uh, catalyst headers the only thing on the exhaust right now is just the resonator and the stock resonator is technically a high flow resonator so that's where we're getting probably the really really bad pops of it because the resonator is probably doing a little bit of work by reducing something maybe maybe the resonator could be preventing me from getting flames I don't know it's possible but I don't really care. We will get in a new exhaust done uh, eventually with the turbo. So I'll just have to stick with this for a while. And yeah. The one thing I am super excited for is the clutch that I got. This clutch is literally at the end of its lifetime. When you can literally... Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh. State patrol from here? What the? We're not even on the freaking freeway. Okay. Or highway, I don't even know. Anyways, the reason I'm excited for the clutch is because this clutch, the stock one that I have right now, is so far gone. It's almost gone, but the point is, I don't have to push all the way for it to disengage. I literally could push it in so it's about a three inch travel time. Yeah. I didn't realize I was in fourth gear for some reason. I wasn't thinking. But there's about a three inch travel time and I could push it in only about an inch and it will disengage the clutch. So the fact is this thing's worn to shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's been replaced in probably a hundred thousand miles and this thing has 250,000 already so yeah I'm really excited for that and one other thing that I'm planning on doing is fixing those goddamn ball joints because one of the ball joints when I was planning on replacing it last summer I had it replaced I actually popped out the center ball joint itself and then the shroud of it was stuck inside of my wheel hub or my my just the whole uh, wheel hub bearing everything like that and what I did instead to you know make it somewhat drivable is I took the new one and I popped it out of its shroud and put the new ball into the old shroud now if you guys can't already tell what the problem with that is 
is that I couldn't get one of the C clips fully over, meaning that all the grease inside <laughs> it just went right out. And I've been driving like that ever since. So every time you accelerate, it pulls you to the right, and every time you brake, it pulls you to the left. It's not a big deal. Just gotta get used to it. But yeah. All right, we got to our destination now. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right. I'm back. It's been later in the day. Just met up with my boy Hayden. Just go on a quick ride. You know how it is. 